Have you or a loved one you know ever wanted to subscribe? Millions of people a year suffer from this this want. They want to subscribe, you know? But now you can. For the low, low price of the energy it takes to move your mouse to click on the subscribe button, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's start the lightsaber tutorial. All right, so anyway, let's go into DaVinci Resolve here. And basically what we're going to be creating today is that... What the heck was that? Anyways, what we're going to be creating today is this. So if you like that, let's do it right now. All right, so anyways, um, basically, we're going to go over, and I have an empty scene. Some What the heck do I have? Okay, maybe I have this. Let me just delete that. So I have an empty scene right here. So go ahead and open up your footage and open it up in Fusion, okay? So I have an actual glowing lightsaber in my footage. You can use a broomstick or whatever you want. Uh, you don't need to, it'll just look better because it has actual light if you do have like something that glows. Um, but whatever you use is fine. People do that all the time. So anyways, what we're gonna do, let me make a little bit more room for my nodes here. So go ahead and start with a background. Background, uh, of course you open that by clicking on your media and press shift and spacebar at the same time and type in background. Um, but basically from here, we're going to get our white background, so let's change it to white. And what we want to do is also add a glow to that. So let's add a glow, and we want this one with the magic wand here. So click on that, click add, alright? That makes basically a solid that glows. However, our solid is covering the entire image right now. We only want it to cover the lightsaber, right? So click on your background, we're going to add a mask to that. So press shift spacebar again. Uh, go ahead and type in polygon. We want a polygon mask here. Now what a polygon mask is going to do is going to let us draw around our lightsaber. So if I go ahead, whoop, I always press spacebar. Never press spacebar. Um, now let me see. If I go, let me, un let me just undo that. Let me go to the front of my frame. Go to the front of your footage and I add polygon. All right. Now basically what the polygon mask is going to do is it's going to use your middle mouse button to move around. Um, it's going to allow you to draw over your lightsaber. So I would draw one point there, one point there, one point there. I would do three on each end. One point here. I might stretch this point by click and hold, and then add one point there, and then connect it back at the end. And as you can see, the mask reveals the glowing background layer that we created. And you can see, because of the glow effect, it's already glowing. So it looks pretty cool right now. However, the lines are really harsh and stuff, but we're going to fix that afterwards, okay? So you can see, it's, yeah, it looks really uh, weird right now, but we'll, we'll fix that afterwards. Now, what you're going to do, if you click on the polygon, uh, by default, it's going to already keyframe each, each uh, basically frame you move the polygon. So what you need to do is you need to go frame by frame and just trace the lightsaber, okay? It'll automatically keyframe your mask each frame. So if I use the arrow keys and one, two, three, uh, you can sometimes get away by going three frames at a time. What you have to do is click on three frames and then just go in by hand. This is what <laughs> visual effects are. You know, you have to, you know, you thought life was going to be easy. No, it's not. Life sucks. Uh, you have to move this frame by frame. Okay. And you can go three frames and you can see, um, basically you just have to track it. So I go another three frames and by default it will keyframe it each frame that you move it so you have to just go around and basically cover the lightsaber now make sure when you're doing this you have to cover the entire lightsaber as you can see the lightsaber has motion blur to it and you want to cover the entire portion you can see the lightsaber stretching here because it's moving really fast make sure you cover all parts of the lightsaber that is basically being blurred. That way it looks like there's actual motion blur. All right, so that's important. So you'll have to go frame by frame and just go ahead and animate that. If the glow is in your way, you can go down to the glow tab here, double click on the uh, arrows here, double click there and disconnect it. That way the glow doesn't show up and the only thing that you're gonna see is this outline and that might make it easier to work. So go ahead and do that. Um, that's gonna take a while so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and I'm gonna trace it frame by frame, or maybe three frames at a time. You can always go back and adjust the middle frames if you need to. Um, and then while you're doing that, make sure um, that you are stretching it and covering the entire motion blurred section to create some 
motion blur so it looks re re uh, realistic. All right, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, my pancake dub wolfins. I don't know what I just said. Anyways, we are back. Um, let's go ahead and um, look at our mask. So as you can see, I have moved the entire thing I can you can see it even stretches when there's motion blur uh, the entire thing is tracked all right so it looks really nice uh, it gets really stretched out sometimes but that's what it likes however if you zoom in the edge is super harsh right now like look at those harsh corners it doesn't look realistic so go into our polygon masks we want to feather the mask so go ahead and click soft edge and give it just a tad of a blur and that is just enough look at that that looks a lot better now because it's blurred. Go ahead and blur it however you see fit. But the final thing is, it's really white right now. We have a little bit of red simply because of my lightsaber, um, the actual LED lights that we were using, uh, but we wanna make the lightsaber actually red. So go into your glow effect, not the background, glow effect, and go and change your color to red. And look at that, that looks a lot better. Now you can mess with the shine, tre tre uh, can't speak. Sign, sign, it still can't speak. Mess with this thing. Um, mess with the spread, uh, how, how far it glows. I'm going to keep that a little bit low. Um, and mess with whatever else you see fit until you get the look that is perfect for you. So once you have that, we can go ahead and open this up a little bit more. Press play, and you have your lightsaber effect. I super hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, worked really hard on this. No, I didn't. I don't get paid for this. But anyways, uh, have a great day, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a bunch of young Padawans subscribed to my YouTube channel, but they forgot to hit the bell. So Anakin Skywalker decapitated all of them. <laughs>